So, guys, I've decided to do one more thing for this game after uh, the end, let's say the good, the good ending. Uh, but the good ending with the uh, option to save Talos and save the whole research and kill the big badass monster uh, and now as a as another option that I would like to show you not the the bad thing the, the bad option we have still we have the the good ending but with the option uh, to destroy Talos and everything on top Morgan I don't know if you've seen but there is alien matter ripping through the hull you have to move Bosh, my every window on this station it's engulfing the place it's everywhere uh, thanks for letting us know. So yeah, I'm at the command deck. Uh, that's the Talos Bridge, and we're about to confront Alex and General. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Nonsense! You're a machine, a little conceived one. Morgan would never. You tricked him. Who programmed you? I represent the desires of Morgan Yu, circa January 12th, 2035. Your brother created me to ensure his objectives would meet with success, and that yours would fail. Mine? <laughs> There's no difference between what I want and what Morgan wants. Not the real Morgan. The idea of a real Morgan is fiction. There's got to be an override. Please step away, Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the comm terminal. We need to link up to the Null Wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos-1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. Soon, the Apex Typhon will have invaded every quarter of Talos-1. Decide. A question. Is Morgan Yu capable of empathy beyond a small circle of interest? I'm only an operator facsimile. I cannot do it for you. So, after that, I... I reckon, after that... We're gonna go for the access self destruct consoles where are located at the power plant. So we can go there. If we want the ending with the the one that I told you before, with destroying uh, the the alien outside of Talos, you should shoot January then activate the new wave and that's it but now we're going for the other one and destroy completely Talos and everyone 
on it. Still, I'm not gonna do the whole thing like the bad ending. Just not, not, not worth it. Microgravity detected. To be honest with you, I just don't want to. <laughs> And that's the most annoying thing for me, for this game. I've done it so many times that go here and there. Oh, really, really annoying. Really annoying. And most of the times when you go back to the area, you are already relocated with enemies and heaps of them. And much stronger, actually. In the beginning you have the Mimics, then you have the Greater Mimics. And where we have to go? Power plant. Power plant. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos-1 are exciting, but even the brightest minds need adequate rest. Just count how many th how many doors you have to open and how many times you have to wait for the loading screen. <laughs> Guys, any ideas, any suggestions, which game should I try next? But please. A good one. Really a good one. I'm sick and tired with this bullshit. Just you know, to be safe. How many times did you count? Five? Four? Plus the elevator.
guys, I really, to be honest with you, I prefer playing Age of Empires 3 uh, multiplayer than that. <laughs> than this game. Deployment resuming. level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and it's avoid all the man. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical can be handled. Try to relax. There. All better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Oh, oh I reckon it's gonna it's gonna be full of enemies. Detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed, all except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it, including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk, 
to everyone on Earth if you return. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Warning, reactor detonation. Kayla, this is Morgan. Are you on your way? I'm not going to make it. What? Everything's fine. I got one of the escape pods working. Are you sure? Morgan, something's wrong. There's no time. Trust me. I'll see you Earthside. Ah. And that's the other option too. <laughs> so we can save ourselves. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. I'm not gonna do any spoiler alert. Any spoilers, sorry. Because maybe there is somebody that is watching and doesn't want to know why we shouldn't escape. Especially us. Coming through. No spoilers. Nothing. Just warning. You know. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. No, I don't want to evacuate. Drink one before we die. One drink. The poor guy. So, yeah, guys, Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please escape. evacuate Talos 1. Having this dream. shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Lightner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this, but it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him, but... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. 
If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I just don't think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. So, guys, I've done this one too on my previous uh, ending. Uh, but we're gonna go with this one, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. And that was the other ending where you're gonna destroy the whole uh, uh, Talos and the research and everything, just uh, some of the crew uh, can escape. And maybe, maybe uh, I'm gonna try and do the, the other one where we escape. So that was it guys, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you another game I, I don't know which one yet if you have anything good for to suggest please let me know <laughs> all right guys see ya and this is the bonus Warning. reactor detonation it's finished all the directives you gave me have been completed all except one when the station detonates it will destroy the apex typhon and every trace of technology derived from it, including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Warning, reactor detonation. Kayla, this is Morgan. Evacuate Are you on your way? I'm not going to make it. What? Everything's fine. I got one of the escape pods working. Are you sure? Morgan, something's wrong. There's no time. Trust me. I'll see you Earthside. Alright, I'm gonna go with the... I'll try at least. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. I really do hate this loading screen. <laughs> Microgravity detected. Morgan, I, I had to restrain Igwe several times by punching him. Who knows, I may have killed him. He tried to disable judgment. If you try to do the same, I can't let you do it. 
warning. It is reactor detonation. This detonation. station is proof of what happens when Tronstar conducts operations unchecked. If the research survives, then the crimes here will continue, and these aliens, if even one survives, they'll escape again and again. Alex made his choice. Now, it is up to you to make the right one. If you want to trigger the null wave, you'll have to come through me. So everything it's first time that I see them, so don't worry guys. It's not that I'm done it again <laughs> before, so Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. So we're gonna escape and all the aliens with us. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The earth is so doomed. I so failed. <laughs> I so so failed. <laughs> Man, you don't have plenty of time. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride.
finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos I. Kayla. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I just don't think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spend years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. I've tried to cover as many things as I could. That's it guys for me. I'm just gonna uninstall the game. I don't want to have anything. I don't have to do anything with that game. So again, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave your like, yeah? And your comment. See you guys soon enough.